guys, welcome back. It is your Mystic Mama here from Mystic Love Tarot. It's Ali. Welcome to today's reading. So for the reading today, what I wanted to do is are you going to get the commitment that you desire and deserve from the person that you are specifically asking about? So I've got two decks for you to pick from. One is the Orisha's Tarot and one is the Rose Tarot. So deck number one and deck number two. Pick the deck you are most drawn to. So I was guided to use more ready pinky colours today for the stability and security that needs to come into your relationships. And this is where spirit drew us to these two particular decks. So number one, number two, is the person that you are asking about going to commit to you? And let's go. So I don't know how many of you are based in England, um, and I always record like a couple of days in advance, but the weather today is just shocking. Um, it is peeing it down and it hailed this morning, like six o'clock this morning. It's like the, ha the heavens open. So let's do this. Think about you and think about your person. And we're going to get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. Though, clairvoyantly, when I'm looking at the window just then, it's extremely grey and it's extremely rainy and it's extremely cloudy. But I did just see a clairvoyant rainbow. So when I'm going into your energy of you and your person and seeing that clairvoyant rainbow at the start, they are saying that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, the rainbow also symbolises the crossings between our world and the next. So it is the intuition of you guys, plus the psychic things that are coming through to me with spirit communicating to me. But seeing that rainbow is saying that there is a bridge to the other side here, that you guys are getting intuitive messages. So do make sure that you are listening to them. I thought I'd plug in the mic today. I haven't plugged it in before. Um, I have for the podcast, um, or, or did for the podcast, but now I just did. I thought I'll use the mic today, but it's not quite in the right position. Right. Will they commit to you? Let's see. Let's keep nudging it. Will they commit to you? Okay, those of you that read tarot, you've got the nine of wands. You've got the hanged man. You've got the Queen of Swords. Let's get five. We've got the Five of Cups. Oh, goodness gracious me. And let's take those two then. We've got the Empress and the King of Cups. Right. So your person is definitely lacking giving you let's move this out of the way is definitely lacking giving you commitment at this point in time now let's talk for the reasons why nine of wands coming up first and foremost so your person is feeling a little bit like a wounded soldier at this point in time they have been going through life feeling that things have been out to get them they're feeling quite knackered quite drained and quite bruised from situations now this could be your situation inclusive okay um so where things have been a little bit peak tongue and they've been weighing heavy on their mind your person is feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and they don't know how to progress the situation forward okay and this is where your lack of commitment is coming in so it's coming from past issues it's coming from potentially issues that have happened with you guys before um but either way your person is just feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and kind of feeling a little bit you know wounded upset hurt you know devastated things have just been a bit tough for them recently and they feel like they've been fighting an endless battle so the next card that comes with that is the hanged man and this is where the lack of commitment comes in because it is through this this heavy feeling over here and not sure how to handle things that they get that stagnancy of the hanged man now when we do see the hanged man in readings it's normally to say that there is going to be some form of epiphany that comes but it just isn't yet so part of me is wanting to say to you guys hold tight because there is potential here with the empress coming up as well but I also want to say equally that lepers don't change their spots, okay? And with that, if your person isn't giving you that commitment now, they're going to have to have this little bit of a wake-up call to get them to give themselves a bit of a shakedown and say, you know what, okay, I'm actually ready to go into this full guns blazing. You lot are going to feel quite knackered and drained and exhausted from this as well because it feels like you guys have been waiting or just hopeful, you know? And it's like, oh, where does it go? What happens next? 
So the other cards kind of coming up are the Queen of Swords. This is your energy over here. So you are probably at the end of your tether with it all now and you're like you know what if they're not going to commit to me that's fine I will just move myself forward now if that is you the chances are that they are likely to kind of once they see that you back off and you take your foot off the gas Spirit are saying that's when they're more likely to make these moves towards you so I want you to just be aware of that um you're not taking people's shit anymore and you are slaying like the Queen of Swords, you know? You can be, you you are that kind of raging storm and I feel like you've been sitting still and not saying much for a long time, letting people kind of take advantage of situations, whereas now you're ready to kind of slay it down and say, you know what, I am in control of my own life, I am in control of my own destiny and if you're just gonna sit here and suffer the fools gladly, then I will just get on with my own life and I will move myself forward. Now that isn't too, um, to it no avail you know you are get there is this heartache and pain that comes with this you are feeling quite heavy from the situation and quite sad and your person is too i also feel some of you guys spirit saying to me that there may be circumstances that have stopped this moving forward so if they are with someone else etc and i did do a, a reading last week about if they are with someone else you're going to want to go check that out um but if you have got this kind of heavy sadness feeling because of circumstances you know, do do go watch do go watch that that previous reading. But for those of you that are where you are at the moment, we have got that weighted energy of I don't know where this can go and what's going to happen. Now the two cards that kind of give me a little bit of faith over here are the King of Cups and the Empress, because your person has got those very strong emotions for you. They have got those very strong feelings for you, and there is potential for growth. However, your person is definitely stagnating it at this point in time. So, if you did decide that you wanted to stay with this situation, I would kind of be a little bit more earthly on it and draw yourself some healthy boundaries on what it is that you expect and want from this. You know, if you want to wait around for a while, then, you know, you're completely at liberty to do that and see how it all unfolds. Um, from a very earthly perspective, I was kind of say, give yourself maybe a little bit of a time limit on their lack of commitment. Say, well, you know what, if they haven't committed to me in the next three months or five months or whenever, then I'll move myself forward. You've got this queen of swords, and like I said, you're not taking their BS anymore. So trust in yourself and trust in your own inner judgment on the choices that you make over this situation and over this connection. They're playing silly buggers, basically, but they're playing silly buggers because they've been hurt in the past, which it's it's very sad, but it's also, you know, if, it, if the past stops the future, you, you do stagnate your life quite rapidly and um, transformation can't really occur. So they've, they've got to get a shift on one way or another rather than staying put. But at the moment, they're just sitting in that stationary energy. Um, I'm feeling quite upset and sorry for themselves. So no commitment yet. Potential down the line. Set yourself a time limit. And if you want to look at this individually, remember that's a collective reading. If you want to look at it individually, do just drop me a message. Miss Love Tarot. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on my website. Got my contact form working. Finally, can tell it's Mercury retrograde, can't you? I like, had a couple of messages saying, Anna, your contact form's not working. So I messaged the, the people that run my website and uh, and I had to pay a chunking bill. I was like, thanks, Mercury retrograde. That, that was great. <laughs> I've not only got my tax due, but I've also got have this this bill for uh, Mercury retrograde, and my um and my, my printer broke too, so it's been a bit of a shit show, uh, with regard to technology. Mad seeing as I am a Gemini as well, but that is the energy of deck number one. Right, let's skedaddle over to deck number two, my loves. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. My name is Ali. I am a psychic, clairvoyant, clairaudient, and a witch. <gasps> do, 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 do. But not one of those ones that's like, um, not one of those, those ones that's got the big wart on the nose. I, I haven't noticed one yet, um, but one of the ones that um, works a lot with herbology for medicinal needs and purposes. And I'm a writer, for, I'm an author for Witches Magazine. So, we are going to do today your person's commitment. Will they commit to you? <coughs> and let's see what comes up. So this tarot is absolutely beautiful, the rose tarot. Um, if you haven't seen it before, it's very gentle energy. It's very pretty feeling, very gentle. Um, and I do love this deck for 
some readings, not for all of them, but it felt appropriate for you guys today. I feel because it's with roses as well. And roses often symbolise unconditional love, don't they? And with your cards, that echoes it as well. So I'm stopping at five cards. For those of you that read tarot, you have the three of wands, you have the seven of wands, you have the four of wands, you have the ten of wands, and you have the knight of pens. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's talk about wands, because you have a lot of wands in this five card spread. Okay, so passion and desire is ruling this situation at the moment. It's probably overtaking heart-centered emotions. So you've probably got a very strong chemistry. You've probably got a very strong desire. You're probably higher vibrational um energies together so your alignment of energies is probably more on this um passionate side of things which can make you the more twin flamey side of things um the, like i said high vibrational soulmates because passion and chemistry rules okay which is super exciting and it's super sexy okay so you've got a lot of sex energy flowing between the two of you now that could be why you're like are they ever gonna commit to me i don't really know um but the overall feeling on this, with the Four of Wands coming up, which is your celebration and your indicator, this can move forward. So, let's break it down. Let's start off at the end. I want to start off at the end, and then I'll tell you what's going to happen in between. So you've got the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pants. This is where we are going to begin with. Four of Wands is your celebration. It is your joy. It is things aligning for you. It is your party to say, yes, this can be your commitment. And the way you will get there is with slow, steady movement. So a lot of the time when we are ruled by fire energy, we're lacking water elements in our life. And our water symbolizes our emotions, okay? So simple things you can do with this is kind of do you, we we need that water presence to be more involved in your relationship so you need to be kind of eating foods that have got this high intensity of water if your person comes to your house do make them a watermelon cocktail <laughs> do feed them little bits of watermelon um you can also intake natural spring water is very good going outside maybe they would take you to the seaside for the day though i know we're working more on sex you could probably wing a date out of it and they could take you to the sun take you to the sun, I wish, in England, take you to the sea, be around water, going for walks outside where there's waterfalls, all of that is going to help ground your energy with the more emotional side of things, okay? So you're just lacking, you're not lacking emotions, they are there, but you're just gravitating more towards passion and desire. Now, with the Knight of Pence, he is saying, I am coming towards you, I can see that this can be a committed relationship, and um, I am making headway to giving you that level of commitment. So with the four of wands as well, this is showing that you will get the commitment that you want from your person, but you just, it might feel like it's very, very slow, slow movement towards you. Um, definitely not stationary though. Let's make that very clear. It's definitely not at a standstill. There is movement heading towards what you want and your what you want is your um, commitment. So the other card you got, you got the seven of wands and ten of wands. So let's talk of these two together. <clears throat> you might find that you've had to defend yourself with some of the stuff that has been going on, or they might find that they are a little bit defensive on what their choices and actions have been. So I also feel with this, you could have open communication with them and it, your person would likely respond. They, they might be a little bit cold to begin with, with the seven of wands. You can open up the bridge of communication here and say, look, you know what? This is what I want. Are you up for it? Where are you going? Something along those lines. And if you want to look at that individually, give me a shout. But you can open up the lines of communication here. Okay, for them to be open to a relationship because they're not saying, no, I'm not committed to you. There is a great desire and chemistry and connection here that can bring these changes into your life. And we definitely have the three of wands over here for action being created as well. New adventures, new joy, new passions. Okay. Um, it's just that they might be a little bit defensive on it. So they just want they just want to take their time, essentially. That's it. They want to take their time. They are burdened by this. Okay, so it is weighing on their thoughts, it is weighing on their mind. It's also weighing on a lot of the stuff that they are doing in their life. So if they have been going out for nights out and things like that, you don't needn't worry what they've been up to because they are still very much, you are still very much in their thoughts and in their mind over it all. They're very much into you. They just 
well, very sexually into you as well, but they're just connecting on that chemistry level. Bring in those emotional techniques, bring in those water techniques. It will help to balance the equation of you guys out. Um, it's kind of like as above, so below, but it's kind of to the left and to the right with fire and air, um, sorry, fire and water, okay? But bring in those passionate, that, that water energy to you. And we're just, as it's raining in England, I don't know if you can hear it. Hear it? As it's raining in England, it's like this cleansing energy that is happening as you're watching this between the two of you. So embodying yourself with water energy, wearing the blues, turquoise, also a very good crystal for this communication side of things. And things will align for you guys. There's a really good possibility of this working out and them giving you the commitment that you want. It's just that you might have to be a bit patient because they are on the speed of a snail. <laughs> And that's step number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot. Instagram I'm more active on. Um, and I have a website, mrlovetarot.com. And uh, what's the other thing I have? I'll just put it all in the comments for you. You can just find me yourself. I do same day voice return on uh, voice note readings. Voice return, voice note readings. £10 per question. So yeah, give me a shout. Love you lots, guys. Speak to you soon. Ciao.